Who shot and killed San Diego police officer Jonathan J.D. de Guzman and injured another officer was sentenced to death today. ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is live outside the courthouse with how the judge came to this decision. Mimi. Yeah, Kimberly, the judge determined that Jesse Gomez knew exactly what he was doing that night, saying Officer de Guzman was executed. We are here for the uh sentencing of Jesse Michael Gomez. Friday in a downtown courtroom, Judge Frederick Link sentencing Jesse Gomez to death. Gomez was convicted in 2021 of murdering San Diego police officer Jonathan J.D. de Guzman, who was a 16 year veteran of the force, a husband and a father. You took away the life of my husband, my best friend and the father of our children. De Guzman's wife tearfully speaking directly to Gomez Friday. Hope that they give you the punishment you deserve. Gomez was also convicted of attempted murder of de Guzman's partner, Wade Irwin, when he shot him in the throat. Both officers were shot when Gomez was approached on a dark street in July of 2016. De Guzman never got out of the patrol vehicle. Irwin had strong words for Gomez before the sentence was handed down. I want you to remember my name and my face. And when the day comes to execute you, I want you to look over because I will be watching just like I had to watch as you executed my partner. Gomez previously testified that he didn't know the men were officers when he opened fire and instead thought they were gang members. The judge says he sees no errors in the jury's decision and that Gomez knew exactly what he was doing. He executed Officer Nicholas Horn. He knew what he was doing. He knew he was shooting an officer when he shot Officer Irwin and he knew what he was doing when he put his gun inside that automobile and emptied it on Officer Nicholas Horn. And I think that is what has convinced me. And we did also hear from Gomez today, who spoke briefly before that sentence was handed down. We'll have that for you coming up at 5. For now, we're live downtown. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. So emotional. Thank you, Mimi.